Hey everybody, I'm a rainbow and I'm going to be talking about how to use Streamcam in Gods of Gravity. This is for content creators. It's something the devs came up with and it is a terrific addition to the game if you're trying to record content. A lot of games don't make it easy. They make it super simple and I'm going to walk you through it. Everything you need to install it and to run it and maybe give you a few tips. Okay, maybe forget a few because I don't know them, but I'm going to do my best. Let's jump in, have some fun with this. So the first thing you want to do is join the Gods of Gravity Discord. And once you're in there, you can request um, a stream cam role. And once you have that, they'll give you access to the folder where you can, uh, where you can get it. And it's right there. So... And once you have access, you'll be able to download it. Alrighty. Once you've downloaded it, you have to extract it. So, and you can extract it anywhere. I'm just going to do it in downloads for right now. We'll just make it easy, but you can put it someplace where you want it. They update it whenever they get a new version of Gods of Gravity, so it has to be updated for that. So it's not something you'll probably keep forever. All right, there's the extracted folder. And to run it, it's super simple. You get in there, find the one that says Gods of Gravity, and it just runs on your computer. Just open that up, and if you're running Windows like me, first time you do it, it'll say, hey, I don't know who this is. Go ahead and hit run anyway. When the screen opens up, this will be familiar to you. It's the exact same one that you have on the headset. I'm using my mouse to move around here. And if you look right by casual rooms there, you'll see a tiny dot. That is actually where the pointer is. The pointer doesn't move. It kind of scrolls around. And to join, we're going to click on that. I'm going to find a room to join. When you jump into the game, you do not have to join a team. You're just going to do the camera work. And this is primarily what it's set up for. And I'm going to go ahead and hit C on the keyboard. That drops you into cinematic mode where you can actually see the table, see what's going on. It's an overview of everything. And if you want to move the camera around from here, you can use the, ma the mouse to pan and tilt and go, le and, and go left and right. But to actually move, you have to use the W, A, S, and D keys on your keyboard. So W will make you go forward, S will make you go back, Le A is right, nope, excuse me, A is left, D is right, and at any point in time you can hit that cinematic button, call that back up, which is C, and U brings up the player menu so you can see everybody that's playing, you can see the mini-map and the time they've been playing. Now, Streamcam uh, is primarily set up to, to follow two, pe two teams, which is red and blue. And to do that, you can use a number pad. If you don't have a number pad on your keyboard, I would suggest getting a cheap one off Amazon. That's what I did because my workstation does not have a number keypad. On a number keypad, the number one will have you actually follow the blue team. Sort of a standoff point of view. All right, the three button will have you follow the red team standoff point of view. The four button, you go back to the blue team. And this is, I would call this an over the shoulder, though you're not always looking over the shoulder, but it's, it's right there next to them. And you can see how that's working. That's for blue. Six is for red. Same thing. It moves along with them. And seven. We go back to blue, and this is actually their perspective, sort of. It's a little bit lower than their perspective. I call it their chest. And nine, same thing with red. And those are your options as far as the two teams to follow. So you can look. We're kind of right there in the middle of red's chest, following, following the action. 
Two is this cinematic kind of widescreen mode. Five drops you down on a horizontal plane looking at the sun. And then eight actually drops you close in looking under the sun. Those are all pre-done and you just kind of have to go with, the, with them the way they are. And at any point, like I said, you can use W, A, S, and D to actually move around. And then you can pan the camera around using your mouse. So you can get different points of view. You can actually change the speed of the camera. I'm using three right now. You notice it's moving a lot faster. So one, two, and three is on there. And all those buttons, if you hit C, you will see that they're all right there on the screen. So if you forget what they are, you can just pull them up. That is a quick how you use it in game to follow the action. M returns you to the tabletop. All right, not really my favorite view, but you can also back off and you can look around the lobby. And this is actually a good place to record uh, intros and things like that if you want to do that. Let's jump back in to green screen. And then now let's talk about green screen. There's actually two modes here. And you would do this if you wanted to put it on a different background or maybe just make it easier to see things. And you can use this as a green screen. And if you hit the G key again, it's kind of a gray. So it's easier to see the planets and you can still use the any green screen or chroma effects with this, this one as well. All right, one more time takes it back to the normal mode. Now I'm going to show you how you can do an intro or an extra or even some commentary if you wanted using StreamCam and capture your character. And uh, you just want to go and set up a private room. Once you're in there, just remember the code 9302. StreamCam needs that to get into the room with you. Streamcam join by code, input the code. This is also how they would join, I don't know, say a tournament room that's limited to a couple of people. Once Streamcam joins the room, that's what Streamcam actually looks like. Hi there. And uh, while I'm here, Let's explain real quick, if you're doing an intro, an extra, or something like that, and you want to look straight into the camera, you need to look down here to what these two little eye-looking deals are, not up here at the top part. So this is the point of view you want. I'll, do, I'll cut screen this when I'm doing it so you can see, but you want to get right in here and right close up, and then you, you're right there so you can do an extra, do something else like that. Now, we're pointed at the screen, and you can manipulate screen cam, oh, screen cam. You can manipulate stream cam in the lobby. It's it's easy easy to do using the mouse. I'm just going to turn them around. Oh, not tilt too much. Be nice if there was some way to lock him in the horizontal. I would like that, but hey, I'll live with what I have. Use the W key to run him out just a little bit. Then between me and stream cam, so I'm looking at stream cam in the menu. He should just be, the stream cam should just be looking at me. And now you could do an intro and extra. And I'm actually going to do mine right now for this video. That's all I've got for now. Hopefully this will help you get started recording your Gods of Gravity content with StreamCam. Y'all be good. Take care. Bye-bye.